I'm basically uh, playing some more Silent Hill 3. I'm overall just, like, disgusted at, like, how, like, lazy, like, everyone is. There's nothing I can do with the organ. I really don't know how to play anyway. All right, so I'm going to observe all six paintings right now. So this one is one, origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached, and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the internal quagmire. I really don't understand this painting. It looks like uh, there's a woman holding up a man on top of another man who is tied up. Okay, so painting two, birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sadness that had over on the earth, God was born from those two people. Okay, so here it looks like there's one person, like, like I don't know, like, crouched over, like those, like, things that eat you in Silent Hill 1. All right, so three, salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy, and God took endless time away from the people. All right, so this one is clearly, uh, she has curtains all around her to symbolize theater. Four, creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, Zukilbara, the yellow god, Lapsil Vith, and many gods and angels. Finally, God set out to create paradise, where people would be happy just by being there. So here, I guess, um, they have, like, little uh, Lodrathil, uh, just to, like, carry uh, the curtain lady. Okay, five, promise. But there, God's strength ran out, and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved this unfortunate event. Yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. Okay, so at this point, um, her curtains are smaller. And six, faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait and hope for the day when the path to paradise will be opened. Okay, so there's a lot of candles there. Um, there are candles in other places, usually churches. And a candle right there as well. So, I guess that takes care of the church area. So, I'm going to go to confession and, uh, I guess, forgive this one person. You could choose not to forgive, um, but I'm a very, uh, I'm a very fair person. I turned my mic up to 66 from 50. So, chapel. I got a church map. I don't know. So that's like, what's what's 66 divided by 50? Do the math, chat. <laughs> These are the cold scriptures. They don't look worth reading. All right, let's, let's talk to this lady. I'm going to quickly verify um, what my stream sounds like real quick. One moment. How do I have four viewers, dude? That's insane. All right. Wait, is it playing the audio twice? Am I imagining things? Grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child child's within your golden gates. Let me see my child once again. Deliver me not to hell, but your purgatory. Allow me to atone, Allow me to atone for my sins there. Alright. So clearly the current lady is still trying to be, like, re relevant. Like, she already had six paintings, and now she's literally a fucking triangle right there. A square right there. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. You wish. Please. You wish. Awesome. Awesome. Care for the Care soul, for the soul of, the of the girl whose life I've taken. The God. The God. I 
I'm a child. I'm a child. This is absolutely absurd. Alright, advertisement for exorcism VR. Did this dude just end stream? No. Okay. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please forgive me. Okay. I guess, um, let me see what the options are here. One moment. All right, so I'm going to say, I forgive you. I'm going to go with the call option here. I forgive you. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Lord. I like how she's uh, kind of like pretending to cry here. Um, I, I really don't know what to think about that. That's a nice painting on the wall, I guess. Definitely looking forward to it. All right, so looks like there's other confession rooms. I'm just going to generally ignore them and kind of move on to uh like more like more normal things. So over here, it looks like I can like read through the bars, kind of. No, I can't. I'll just have to go through the door. Oh, so I made a mistake in the last stream. I was calling him Leonardo. Uh, his name is actually Leonard. Uh, which I'm... My bad. I, I mean, it's like, how much can you... How much can you place on Hill in one day? Like, I think I... This weekend alone, I played for like three hours. Okay, so I could read this right here. I definitely could read this. I can't read it. The other guy could read it. Alright, so at this point you have uh, two fat dudes here. Um, so they kind of deflate like uh, hot air balloons. Um, but what you're supposed to do is you stun them. Where's my stun gun? I don't have a stun gun, dude. I totally have a stun gun. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. The, the game lost my stun gun. Am I missing it? I have to read one moment. I feel like the the developer of this game is like out to get me. He like literally, he's just like, nope, you know, you didn't, nope. He's like, no, you're a noob. Yeah, alright, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was there to make sure you defeat the enemy. Alright, looks like this beast was destroyed. I'll hide it with a few more katana hits just in case. Yeah, it's deflating so you could tell that you defeated it for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the... I don't know. Yeah, I'll just do this again. This thing sounds like the lions from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That lion? Mm, maybe it's... I'm not sure what Assassin's Creed is. But I mean the lion fight is pretty sick. It's like level 20 and I was like level 10. I don't think I de defeated this thing yet. Kinda looks like a boomer. Um, yeah, I defeated it. It looks like a boomer from... What's it called? A boomer from... Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I skipped workouts all weekend this weekend. Not, like, I could have worked out, but... There's no useful information here as far as I could tell. It's like, dude, like... 
No, no. There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. It represents a deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry, it symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors. But the blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. It's a nice little lantern here. Um, very similar to uh, Evil Within. Evil Within is uh, made by the guy who made Resident Evil series. Uh, so it's definitely worth worshipping to some degree. Oh, so here you can see uh, you can see footprints on the floor, bloody footprints walking towards this painting. If you pay close enough attention. It looks like there are a lot of numbers on the wall. Um, kind of like uh, the Cube movie, which is an incredible movie. I like Cube. I like cube three. Um, I didn't like cube two though. All right, so I can move this painting. There are a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappeared beyond it after all. Will you move the picture of the angel? Yes. There's a wheelchair here. Just a plain old wheelchair. So that angel painting, it, it reminded me of like seeing like a woman running, I guess. And think about how like strong a woman who runs is. Um, that's like the general thoughts that came to mind. St. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. St. Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. That picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And I'm the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Oh, I, I don't know what he's trying to say here. Like, did they rush his Silent Hill 1? St. Nicholas, miraculous hands, a doctor of God. Or is he saying, like, like, I guess... The circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on that paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Thanks to the reincarnation, I died as a lesser, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. My dual shock uh, was definitely uh, buzzing right there. Alright, so soon I'll be able to get another uh, solo with Leonard. But he's no longer Leonard. Which is kind of crazy. Like, I'm back in the theme park. I left the motel to go to the theme park. There's like a thing crawling around right there. You can see it. Kind of looks like Pan's Labyrinth. The thing with like the, the holes in its hands that have eyes in it. Alright, so I'm going to run to the other side of the room. I'm going to have to fight something. Annihilated. Oh, there's another door. All right, so here is another, well, let me pick this up first. There's a sheet of paper here, but it's blank. I got the moon tarot card. All right, so here comes uh, Leonard or other Leonard or whatever his name is. You see this shit though? Buy low, sell high. It says buy low, sell high. They're hand, 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 hand things. 
They're you for the, 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 the sleeves. Buy low, sell high. Make me sound like sound See that like shit? Pets? Pets? Let me wait for it to focus. Well, who are you anyway? They're cufflinks. Yeah, you're yeah, on you're Claudia's, on Claudia's side. side. I told, I told you not you to put me in the same kind of cat as that mad, mad woman. Well, well, you're pretty, you're pretty loony, loony yourself. yourself. It's true. It's true. We believe, we believe in the same, in the same God. God. But I'm but quite, quite safe. safe. <sighs> so why so did you why help, did you me, help out me out then? That? Was that also that part of trying, trying to resurrect, to resurrect God? God? God. <laughs> It's not, it's uncommon, not uncommon, for uncommon for people to worship, to worship the, same the same God and still disagree. Still disagree. <laughs> God. This guy has a uh, really nice uh, teeth set up. I mean, his lower teeth are kind of like wide, in my opinion. Which I, I generally don't think doesn't agree with fitting behind the upper teeth. Convenient. Much too, Much too unpredictable. unpredictable. Like that type of teeth is very unnatural in my opinion. Because like the teeth, it should be a trapezoid. Do your own your dirty, dirty work. work. My dirty work? dirty work? I think we both, both had our own interests in mind. in mind. You hate her you too, hate her don't, too you? don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. Get it done. Oh, so I think they're gonna rise up I don't have and fight the power. The socks. I always hate getting all hot. I like how she just did like an open mouth, like no teeth grin. Like she doesn't have powers. I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. Ha ha. Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the you worst, worst person, person in this room. This room. You come, come here, here and, and enjoy, enjoy spilling, spilling blood, blood and, 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 and listening, listening to them cry, them cry out. out. You feel, you feel excited. excited. I saw three Amazon boxes at the top up there. Um, so there were boxes in Silent Hill 2 in the painting room where you find the, the pig lady who's like crying about abuse. They look like monsters, monsters to you. To you. <gasps> oh, no. Don't, worry. Don't worry. It's just, it's a, just joke. a joke. <laughs> I really wish um, whatever the har uh, the character is that plays Harry oh, Potter, I Daniel Radcliffe. I wish he would actually do like a Silent Hill. What's that? Uh, you don't have either TV show for Netflix or movies. That'd be incredible. You mean this, you mean thing? this thing? Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. As long as, as, long we, have as we have that, we're fine. We're fine. Here, Here. Take this. Take this. See. Alright, so this is like the book of the other world. It's kind of similar to the book of the death gods or whatever that I got in old school runescape after horrors from the deep from Joseph. I got the book other world laws. Okay, so let me read through this real quick examine a big old Wait, what's it say? It says a big old book I got from Vincent. Okay. Seal of Metroton. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viron Seven Crest, or the Seal of Metatron. I will begin I will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength therefore places a very high burden on the caster, and it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. That is why it bears the name Metroton after the angel Metatron, or Metatron, also known as the Ancient of God. Okay. I'm into it. There's a book on Tarot here. 
Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants. Leonard can eventually be fine and is said to present the entire world. Each card number 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation. He isn't that strong, so he's kind of useful, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on the lost Hebrew vowels, and Claudia is denoted an otherworldly transcendental existence, i.e. God. Yeah, Claudia is really, really slack in there. These books look like real mind betters. Think I'll have to leave them alone for now. Silent Hill's Ancient Gods, the study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There's no religion that has remained unchained from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of the primal gods may be given the names and description of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with the demon's name. Oh, that was the second painting. Of course, this is not done by believers, but by their opponents. Okay, so this guy's still still there. Figures. So I'm going down to the first floor. This part's generally easy. Um, I was at four minutes and fifteen sec. Uh, four hours and fifteen minutes in the YouTube video. Got a stun gun battery, which is useless to me now. This room looks just like Dad's. It's more than just a resemblance. Dad's not sleeping in the bed, though. This kind of looks like a Wolfenstein 2 before the Nazis invade your 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 farm. There's a musty diary on the bed. His writing is his dad's diary. Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that the girl is reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were in love, Cheryl. Or was that Alyssa? And now, Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. All right. Thanks, Dad. So, I was a less after all, but I do just have a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Holy shit, dude. Nothing happens when I try to turn on the TV or VCR. None of the books. Okay. Can I open the closet? No. Lock is broken. I can't open the door. There has to be a... There was no was there no reason to come in here? I don't know why she said this room looks just like dad's though. Like it's so plain. All right. Like what is its purpose? Holy shit. Did I just die? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, dude, I have like no health left. I'm like literally burning in like Silent Hill 3 hell. I got shotgun shells. I know there's another thing in here somewhere. I got the Hanged Man Tarot card. Yeah, so the guy in the YouTube video, he looked up here, and then he looked up here, and he's like, he looked at this guy's foot over here. All right.
This game is very uh, tiresome, I think. I think he won't. Yeah. It's like, am I supposed to like count the doors or something? Like, I don't understand. This thing's growling at me. Alright, so he runs past this initially and then he runs back and goes through there. Oh, there's this. There's a save point right here. I could just like dash it and do it later. The shelves are jammed with books. The top shelf has books and religious teaching textbooks, serious stuff, the other blah blah blah. Nice. There's a closet, it's meaningless. Yada yada. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening, or maybe what they would call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. Know them. The last entry was written some 17 years ago. It looks like Dad wrote this, too. Nice. Alright, so here's the drawing block. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, here's a picture of Dad. Really awful work. So I guess this is an alternate reality where, like, Harry Mason is actually just, like, a bug-eyed... Uh, like, freak? What's this doing here? The door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do, then, with all these? I'll tell you straight, and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now, the first thing you must know is that there is something in each row, and that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside-down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though. His tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, fuller crescent, floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? you have it now you didn't forget one major point you must not omit and now at the last before you take a whack here's one more hint to help you keep on track shit so you'll open the door i'm just sure that there'll be nothing beyond it but frightening peril forget about that just stay and play or else i'll be left here alone all day nice so i guess this like the developer of this game is like he's like yeah like i i made the only video game in existence Hmm, this is some sort of landscape. Where was it from again? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, look at that. They have, like, two little, like, bunnies on the floor. That's that's cute. Oh, uh, there's, uh, there's the the thing up there. That's nice. I No, it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Alright, I'm done streaming.